Gauteng's Education MEC, Barbara Creasy, says late applications will only be handled at special operations centres established at head office and district offices. And Cabinet says it to submit itself to a thorough evaluation of how government is performing as President Jacob Zuma's term approaches its halfway mark. I'm Richard Brooks. Gauteng's Education MEC Barbara Creasy says late applications will only be handled at special operations centres established at head office and district offices. She has advised parents who are looking for places for their children to go to the district offices, not schools. Meanwhile, Equal Education says the Basic Education Department needs to focus on improving infrastructure as thousands of learners are attending school under dangerous conditions. Spokesperson Dawn Isaacs. In rural areas, one of the most important things to get right this year are the basic physical resources under which young people are attending school. There are still thousands of young people in South Africa that are attending school under very dangerous conditions, in buildings that are not safe, and buildings that do not inspire or allow for learning. And what we think is necessary in that regard is for the National Minister to set binding standards. Cabinet says it's to submit itself to a thorough evaluation of how government is performing as President Jacob Zuma's term approaches its halfway mark. Ministers, their deputies, premiers and director generals are meeting this week in a cabinet Lakhotla, which will develop policy for this year's State of the Nation address. Minister in the Presidency, Collins Chibane. From the point of view of ordinary citizens, there is great expectations that we should build on the best aspects of our performance and that we should respond clearly and swiftly in instances where we could do better or where we are letting people down. As the national executive, we have an established tradition and practice of being ruthless in our introspection and self-criticism of taking decisions that are in the best interest of our people. The group calling itself Friends of Jackie Salibi says it's waiting for a formal response from Correctional Services Minister Nosivima Mapisa Akula regarding its failed application for him to be granted medical parole because of his kidney disease. The group says it lodged a formal application three weeks ago. However, Mapisa Akula on Monday said only a doctor was eligible to apply for Salibi's medical parole. The group's Isaac Lesole. We have sent documentation to both the Office of the Minister and the Office of the National Commissioner. So now we are waiting for a response from, from the department, either from the National Commissioner or from the Minister. The heat wave that is sweeping across the Eastern Cape is set to continue for the next two days with temperatures of five or more degrees higher than the monthly average. Hot and humid conditions have been experienced in towns like Mtata, Crofrenet, Addo, Fort Beaufort and Grahamstown since the start of the week. A forecaster at the Port Elizabeth Weather Office Garth Sampson. Basically it's warm temperatures with high humidities and uh, this is basically due to the easterly flow which we experience between January and March. So these conditions are completely normal for this time of the year for the Eastern Cape.